Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 54. Second round match between Martin Septum and his absolutely amazing Pro Elf team here. The best Pro Elf team we've ever seen because everyone in it is called Jimmy Fantastic. And Magikarp Red, um, former CCL champion with a boring Nurgle team. Well, it's actually a really good Nurgle team, but you know, hopefully it loses to Elves because the Elves are all called Jimmy Fantastic. In the booth with me is Squirrel Dude. Hello! Howdy, let's go Nurgle. Wow, man. First Barbie girl, now this. <laughs> Thin ice, thin ice, squirrel dude. <laughs> well, I'm attacked as well, so I could have already melted, so I'll live. <laughs> Night and Septim has a wizard and a babe for his inducements. 13 players total. Only 12 for the Nurgle. Tackle Pommer, but only. Oh, yeah, two. So only one Tackle Pommer and then a Tackle Mighty. Claw mm. and another Tackle Mighty Claw. But quite a lot of tackle. The warrior tackle is not quite as good, but it's still useful for facing yeah. up and forcing some. So there's not that much dodge on the elves either. It's not a full blodge spam elf team. No, I, I would prefer tentacles on a steel the warrior. I, 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 I prefer <laughs> tentacles over tackle. Um, but yep. stand firm might be better for other matchups as well. Piling on them, and before piling on them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, piling on, yeah, piling on, obviously. Just pile, just go piling on, kill all men. Let's go. <laughs> These being so good against elves that we just don't activate, despite there being multiple squares, would have been theoretically better. In. Just leave the beast standing on the LOS and having pushed no one onto it. So good against elves. <laughs> yep. A great blitz. Who, who, who is this guy who did the hit there? Right. Oh, it's Jimmy Fantastic. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. No dirty player for the foul, but uh, I like I like the big foul coming in anyway, the rookie. Mm -hmm. I feel like if we've learned anything from the uh, Blood Bowl 2020 rules, that fouling was probably always better than we were giving it credit for being. So, Unless we were ducky, in which case it's exactly as good as we were. <laughs> I mean, it, it always was good, right? It's just the positional cost, which uh, may have lost Ducky his, uh, his his second round match. So, but uh, Blood Bowl twenty twenty kind of alleviates the positional cost with uh, guard assists. Pretty ridiculous. Makes makes bash matchups super. Bymir very happy with that result on the foul. Mm. Not quite a death, but he's got to be pleased with it. Yep. Always be fouling. Yeah, um, fouling, fouling, you know, well, that's what, that's what I said, didn't I, about, uh, about Chunter when Chunter made an Urgle team and he, he took DP Sneaky Kid on, on a rotter and it's like, he, he thought Sneaky Git was good because he fouled more, but really he was just him playing better because he should have fouled more, like the Sneaky Git was doing nothing. <laughs> the sneaky Git was inducing him into playing in a way that was better, but... You know, you would have just played better without needing the inducement, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. Oh, here we go. Bolts in. That is a wizard. Um, I guess we got an <laughs> A removal. I just, but, knew, uh, just knew this was going to be the scatter, obviously. Yeah. Hey, but the beast is in the right square. Beast is good against elves. Let's see if the beast can, like, single-handedly save this possession. Oh, save yeah. Drive. The problem is he, oh, it's, he can't hand off, though, very well, can he? Hmm. Because it's in like three. Making seconds. nervous feel will be better than diving catch by negating all this disturbing presence. No. <laughs> it's a four plus catch though. It's not terrible. Now he's just gonna try the tentacles. He gets the tentacles. Well, there you go. Then. Yeah, it was a four plus. It was still a four plus handoff. Yeah. Mhm. Mm the end. Can you catch on the handoff too? Yeah, yeah exactly. Seventy-five yeah, percent. That's, that's pretty good. But I mean, this is perfect, isn't it? I mean, that was really dangerous. <laughs> it was really dangerous going for the tentacles, but I guess you re-roll the tentacles dodge off. Which, that is one of the things that you couldn't do yeah. in uh, Blood Bowl 2020. Mm-hmm. And we might not be able to do in Blood Bowl 3, but no one's really tested any of that game. It's <laughs> basically unplayable. So we'll never, we won't know for a few more months. Yeah. Oh. Maybe even years. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
This is fun things. It's not over. Don't say it's over, Keith. Don't say it's over. Um, oh look, beast on the ball. Beast on the ball. Seems like the right play. It's good against elves. It, it's pretty bad for the Nurgle to have lost the ball, but also they are kind of removing elves, and if they continue to do that, and even induce a quick score, then what? It's a quick drive, quick drive, and they can always play for overtime still, even with being down one. So I think they'll try to get an overtime result, and they are favored in overtime because it's pro elves. Or never be green with you. I'm surprised you didn't sidestep to hero here, right? Going on the guard it seems weird. Mm -hmm. Because he could have just been there in that square for the assist, right? He could yeah. have been in that square for the assist already. Pretty weird, right? Yeah, I thought it was really weird. That's nice. Stand firm being a very good seal and totally saving you from getting through. Oh, so I guess it's because he was going to dodge away and go all that way. So that's why he sidestepped. Because he didn't mind putting this guy in here. And that would have got him further. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that would have gone further. So it was he was playing he was playing like a turn ahead there, wasn't he, Mind Septum? Fantastic play. As you would expect from his blitzer being called Jimmy Fantastic, and his Edge 5 catcher being called Jimmy Fantastic, and the Mighty Bow Tackler being called Jimmy Fantastic. I mean what a what a trio. Unfortunately he also rolled snake eyes at Jimmy Fantastic and failed to dodge now. The whole uh, wonderful drive could be over in a turn. Diced. Names can't beat dice, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, and he's in, he's in blitzwing range. Whoopsie. Oh, oh my god. Four dice on the ball. Beast had grab. Mm -hmm. But he did sidestep, though. Because he sidestepped to here. It was a blitz. Uh, it was a blitz, so it wouldn't have negated sidestep. Because this is a prank 20 where grab just works, I think. Yeah, and he went there. He went, yeah, he went there. He went there anyway. Like he went there. He, like he was hit here and went there, right? That seems correct, yes. Mm. Again, the confusion of how grab being changed might be confusing more than that's the interpretation of the rules in this rule set, so. Confuzzling. He's really got to, yeah, he's got to keep this guy on the beast, right? Really. Got to keep him on the mm -hmm. beast. Beast is good against balance. <laughs> Nothing like trading your 200 team value for a, a line elf. <laughs> so, good recovery, but I mean, really lucky to survive those. But then, really unlucky to snake, and then really lucky to survive the 4D on the ball. Nurgle feels like it maybe. It's a bit out of position there with the uh, Agi in particular. Agi feels like maybe should be more central. Mm. But I would also maybe like the Blizzard a bit higher. I don't know. I would like to have a scoring throughout so I could end this drive if I wanted to quickly. But... Yeah, yeah, to be fair, if the L score, they probably. I don't know, because they, they can't necessarily stall out, so. Yeah. I would try and, I would try and dacker this as much as possible. I've been baptized in my own sweat. <laughs> there is also a nature that, you know, if you score early and the Nurgle get a score, is that really that much better or worse than going 0-0 zero, zero and not giving them a second deal or less? So, you can afford to go 0-0, zero, zero, and in some ways that might be a better result than um, 1. But I think, you know, if you give the Nurgle two turns, you're probably safe. Not allow a score even with I mean, it's Nurgle. Yeah, because he's only got one one ball carrier, which you can hopefully deal with as an as an elf team. Hello, Steve. Oops. Right, so he just about gets this covered. <laughs> this four players that he has. <laughs> Three. Um, can this one get out? Yeah, I mean, so now he's a scoring threat, isn't he? Oh. oh, not anymore. I guess it's a 2 plus without a reroll, so it is. A, maybe makes that a bit later in action, so it's not something he's so quickly gonna go and just do a dodge through to hit the ball on two dice, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Jimmy Fantastic's knocked out. No! No! Use a magic sponge at halftime, it'll be fine. 
I think you should have still gone for the ball, right? Three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like he had to go for the ball then, I think. I think he had to go for the ball. Even though this guy was in the right in the way because now. Ah maybe he doesn't. He's got this guy as a safety. I don't I don't love that the beast is just kinda of getting isolated on this player on the right over here. I guess it's two players, it's not so bad, but Yeah, when he's only got when he's only got like six. <laughs> yeah. It's not so bad. Yeah. It's incredible how the Nurgle aren't down players, but I feel like they need to have two more on the field to really be able to stop this. Yeah. Sterl's rolling dice, isn't it? Like, it's just two, mm -hmm. and then... You just can't stop them. It's... Well, you know, now that we've gotten rid of Quan piling on, and everyone takes tackle, they're basically unplayable tournaments, so... <laughs> yep. Yeah, so now now you de now you put it there. It sucks he hasn't got tackle. I guess your five plus didn't hit with tackle is maybe better, right? Maybe five plus to hit with tackle is better than your four plus to hit without tackle. Uh, a five plus to or a five plus five plus or a plus for a six plus six hitting a six on two dice. I'm not sure. Well, it doesn't I, thought, matter. I thought this guy had dodge, but he, I was looking oh, at his hands yeah. thinking it was dodge, so that, that made it a bit yeah. better as well, but without yeah. that, it probably, it's probably worth it for 5 for the 2. I don't think you save the 5 for the turn, for the, for the turn 7, nor dodge the dodge. It is, also, it is turn 7, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, no, it, it turn 8, you, you meant. Yeah. But, yeah, because it, it's too late now. If you, if you wait another turn, it's too late, because it makes a, makes a better screen, doesn't it? And now he has the players he could also... <laughs> he could just choose to tag the uh, Mighty Blow Tackler and make it do another dodge as well. I think that's what you should be doing. Yeah, go around. There you go, that's, I think that's also fun enough. But you get the option, just tag it, make it really hard if you need to. The removal hurts it, of course, but yeah. Nah, this, this, is, this is bad in tagging, isn't it? This is, this is perfect. And uh, yeah. it's basically impossible for now, so yep, probably should have done that the last turn. <laughs> I thought he had to do it last turn. Like, you know, you've got, you have, you the the other time. advantage that's not being stated is that even if the 5 plus, uh, five plus 2D is similarly good to the 4 plus 2D, uh, it means you have agility 4 for recovery. Yes. Which, which is that plan did not. Really did not yeah. so. Correct. And uh, this is, I guess, just letting him. I, why is that not a three dice block if you just do this blocks? I don't understand. <laughs> that should always be a three dice because the rotter's not doing anything up here, as far as I can tell. Yeah. yeah. We're just getting our player served. All right. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna serve this beastman. Hmm. A pretty good player to get the surf as well as score, isn't it? Kind of just bad play for yes. Magic Carp, I think maybe just not working, making a a sloppy turn turn eight really. But yeah, that happened, and he really wasn't punished for it. It wasn't a turnover; it didn't have any injuries. So bad process, but it's not going to affect the rest of the game, or it shouldn't. Huge KO rolls. Oh, okay. Stay I think it's still. I think they all still field 11 with their uh, spares. Yep. Oh, no, maybe 10. Yeah, 10. Okay. Well, I saw that they had two spares, so I suppose they only had one. Okay. Yep, and only 10 for the Nurgle, and they're down. Their amazing uh, Agile and their Claw Tackle Pommer, so... Really nice. A perfect opportunity to Dakar for the Elves. Mm-hmm. It doesn't look like he's gonna duck it. They have, looks like they have a leader for a spare reroll on this drive too if they need it. It's not much of a team, is it? He's got no guard at all on the uh, in the yards. No. No, it's not the greatest elf team you're ever going to see. Um, besides the names holding it back, it, it doesn't have any guard. It only has one mighty blow. It's <laughs> fine, but it doesn't have it doesn't have like mass dodge or anything. So. No, there's not a lot to it, is there? But it, it's only got one ad, there's no movement, there's no strength. 
and there's no guard. It's uh, it's pretty terrible. But you know he does have the best names in the whole of World Ball Two. Look, so you know he's he's got something going for him. It is uh, pretty trim, so I can see why this would do well on a ladder, of course, with very little bloat on the linemen and a lot of the development being just kind of good. So yeah, it's really surprising that he got such few inducements, right? He just got a babe and a wizard. So like th this this noble team is super super trim as well. I think I think this is mm -hmm. like maybe he's about eighteen hundred or something. Maybe he's nineteen hundred. I can't remember what it was, but it was it was like pretty trim to to you know yeah. like, to think it's a pretty flipping good noble team. Yeah, the, the Nurgle team doesn't have the uh, typical bloated rotters that have like four skills on them for some reason, <laughs> and the warriors are a touch light. There's a, it is a little light on guard. So. Yeah. Yeah, thought you were TV would make it a lot better. No, it's almost a dacker. Almost a dacker. Doing a dac, which, I mean, for distance, it's basically a full dac against Nurgle. So, and Nurgle. I get Nurgle does have to engage, they have to get the turnover, so. And I suppose also doing a half deck in this situation, since you don't have to score, gives you some more space to run backwards. Yeah. You start the middle line. Rather than just invite the Nurgle, who are going to just try and close the distance on you immediately anyway, because they don't have a choice. Yeah. Interesting decision to, uh to GFI with a beast and not block the guy that was blocking the path, yeah. Yeah, well just to leave him out there, like just to say, would you like to put your whole team over here? Hmm. And the elves will say, yes. <laughs> you will go towards a side that has now down one tackle and the guard is in the middle and yeah, we'll go against the first warrior and against uh, minus one, the less scary warrior and against not the beast. That seems good. Hmm. Tackle only basing an elf that doesn't have dodge also seems like not the best use of tackle, but it's hard to use tackle on warriors, so you'd be forgetful for that. <laughs> yep. Oh my I never god, loved... Cass is in. I was say, I never love blitzing uh, Nurgle warriors, but you have to commit so much because of the, the uh, foul appearance, but hey. Can't hit anyone else, can you? That was the problem. Mm hmm. There's literally no one else he could hit. Got no, like, you know, can't hit this guy. He's got no strength. If he had strength four, he could have hit him. Yeah. But he had no strength. Do you think that player on the beast? I guess you do, because you want to hide the beast for like one more turn before making a breakup field, it looks like, for a quick score. So it's like the strategy is right now. It's fine, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's put him so out of position <laughs> that you kind mm -hmm. of. <laughs> that you kind of. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of bound to uh to keep him out of position, aren't you? Unfortunately. That's an apo. Just came in. Really feeling like he's at an advantage here, Martin Septum, and now just wants to uh, force his way to a win. I feel like and not worry about any long-term pain. That is a very aggressive KO. Mm. So you apo. Very, sorry, it's very aggressive apo to apo to KO when you are when you, when it would only bring you to being even players and you're already in a winning position in the game. Yeah, but you're not in a, you're not re, you're not that in a winning position, right? That's the problem. This is still tenuous, right? He's he's yeah. he hasn't got that many players. This is a player that keeps him on for this drive, so it helps players for this drive. And he has to go through like you know, I I, I think he he's. He's aware of how tenuous this is, right? Even though he's one nil up, it's it's not it's not easy. This this is a pretty it's a pretty decent Nurgle team, and obviously Magic Out Red is a is a former CCL champion. So I think just you know keeping it keeping him on, and like he hasn't got good players to keep alive, right? He's only got two players to save the apple for and a perm, and he's not planning on letting either of them get hit. So. And there is obviously the case, I suppose, that what are you waiting for a casualty that you'll never get the player back from? you do the drive correctly. So the KO at least going to KO means that you're getting value of the apothecary. Yeah. Exactly. That a lot of other things aren't. That's the, yeah, you know, in an ideal world, he's, uh, he's winning two 0 isn't he? Or two one and uh, the apple just doesn't matter on the cards. It's only a perm, right? The only way the, the yeah. apple is 
better is if it's on a perm, but the only perm to care about are these two players right here, so... Yeah. Yeah, he's playing for a 2-0 or 1-0, so... The casualty doesn't really help you at all, so... Ooh, I don't like not getting the extra... If you're going to do that foul, let's get the extra assist on. Sure. Not moving the rudder afterwards in particular, I don't know. I don't think it's the right square for that rudder, regardless. Wow. It's not providing the assist, maybe two squares to the left would be better, I don't know. The problem is, he's, um, oof, not only is it cast, it's um, straight down. I, th I mean, given the choice, but he, he's not given the choice, is he, Dog the Dog? I think I think you've got to you've got to push down and try and get two 0 up. Because I think you know you, you can't just stall indefinitely. You just can't, like you can try, but you can't. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like he has yeah. to he has to go up and try and spare because. There's no, like, Nurgle are pretty fucking good, you know, on defense. They can get in the way, they can do stuff. Ooh, he finally tries to leave the, the beast alone, because now it's completely irrelevant, but, uh, <laughs> fails his Well, he had, the other, he had the other one that got stuck at the top, too, so he was totally free to move the rest of the one now to somewhere else to um, maybe try to an aggressive dodge to attack this guy. Because now there is going to be pressure all over the ball. All over the balls. Mm, it's, it's interesting, Dog the Dog. I mean, I think Perfect World is kind of fantasy world, right? I think Perfect World is you score here, you go to and open you've won. Like, I'd, I wouldn't even factor into the possibility of me being able to stall this out. Like, maybe if, like, something crazy... Like, so you'd have to really dice him to be in, in a position where you could do that. Like, mega Isn't comedy dice him. Quite a few players back before, uh, at the end of this turn, or you should get a couple, few, quite a few players back who are lying down to get them back into the play with just average dice. So... A stall for one return shouldn't be too hard, but hey, tackle's doing things. Yeah, I mean, the, the stall doesn't matter now, right? He's, he's doing it up, he's basically... Yeah. Didn't didn't get these guys back in because he double won. Quite a few players he could have gotten back in the game, yeah. But like, I guess going forward is better. Yeah, I go forward. Oh, you gotta go forward to two minutes. Yeah, that's how you've got to think about it. So yeah, he's got to try and get through. That yeah, that was the other thing I was gonna say, dog. Dog is that it, it's also better before because now if you have some sort of failure, the nerve will have so much further to go with the ball. Now it's GG, isn't it? Now it does get another turn stall. Yeah, because then know where to be seen. And it's easy to get those players back into the game. It's a quick dodging. These are still on tackle, so these are just still straight twos, but. There's not much response in this left. I can go like here. Yep. He's got a blitz and <laughs> try to not get this guy served or fouled or anything, so he probably yeah. runs in. Runs him up here and GFI, so I'm like, I'm not sure I like him down there because now it's a little bit tempting to blitz him, and I would want to remove all temptation of blitzing him. <laughs> He's so good. He's totally locking up this left side of the field. Mm, so yeah, contributing to the victory. Such a weird thing to just stick him over there. I really did kind of hate that. Also, a great example of how even if you're getting value with the beast, maybe it isn't actually value because none of that matters. <laughs> no what's happening over there has any impact on the result of the game. Yeah, that, that's one of the things. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not berating you here, uh, Squirrel dude. But you know, your uh, it was a really cool thing. Your little uh, fouling calculator, you know, with like the TVs oh, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. again, it's not, it's, it's not just the yeah. TVs, is it? And a lot of people like mm -hmm. say that about TVs, and they say in Magic as well. Like, you know, and a lot of things. It's like, it's a lot of games. It, it's not so much just about like the costs and the trades and that, is it? There is the there is all sorts of. Like the other things that you can't quantify, but then obviously there is there is some things you can quantify, and it is good to know 
what the yeah. things that you can quantify are. <laughs> the, uh, the fouling calculator only calculates the impact of assists on the foul scene value uh, ratio, basically. It, it doesn't tell you how valuable those assists would be if they were players being standing somewhere else. Yeah. Which is a pretty important part of the cost. Yeah, and just, well, not just that, like, the TVs just don't matter, right? Like, mm -hmm. like yeah. fouling out this player worth of TV is much better than fouling out, you know, somebody else's worth of TV, right? Like, this warrior is not as important as the core mighty tackle. You know, mm -hmm. It's probably more about the same TV. This one's more TV, isn't it? Uh, Ergo Warrior is... 110 plus 2 skills, so 150, and a pesty is 80 plus 4 skills, 160. 160. Yeah. So it's 10 team value better, um, but is a much more valuable player to remove. I, I was going 170 with this one as well. As well. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, ah. so this one is this one is more. so this one is worth more than him, and the other's worth less, but then. In a way, the block guard is better than the block to almighty this game anyway, right? Even though he's worth 20 yeah. less, so it's just weird. Mm -hmm. I do... I do actually wonder if it was correct as score, I guess you wanted the SPP, but... Um, yeah. Get the SPP on Jimmy Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic, love to see it. But this is just one of those things where, if, say, say uh, the finals where it might just be more correct to not score. He's a runner can't score, it's better not to give him the tiny 0.01% chance of getting a ride in a board or whatever. <laughs> to, uh, but also, the, there's, the, the there's the thing people get hit, right? People get hit in yeah. that, That's the big thing, so yeah. it just doesn't matter. Yeah. There's good players getting hit. Yes, that sort of thing, Kalon. Yeah, so there's all those signs and everything, but you do need to know the maths as well. So if anybody doesn't know the Samba things, they do need to know the Samba things. So it's not as if... Like, that's the thing, right? So, like, that's the thing. I'm not disparaging Samba. I'm not disparaging Squirrel's foul thing. You do need to know all the maths. You do need to know all the quantifiables, but you do need to also then know the other things as well. Riot, here we go. So he can one turn and then get a blitz, but I don't think he's going to one turn. <laughs> no, no, no. But, yeah, the path was laid out to him. He needed to one turn, then do a one turn counter score on a blitz, and then needed to probably not lose the ball, not lose the toss, so uh, he could get the ball in overtime. Yeah, um, but yeah, that was a really, you know, it's basically impossible, but the situation actually makes it very straightforward and easy to understand path to victory, because there was no other option. Yeah. It's all forced, as they might say in chess. There you go. To see. But, uh, oh, he did have a guard, but he was uh, badly hurt. So he's, he has got one guard on the team. <laughs> Just by the time I looked at the teams, he was already gone. <laughs> yeah, the saddest, the, the saddest kind of guard, the line elf guard only player. Yeah. Who basically exists to just be blitz bait. That's all they ever are. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone recognizes their value and their fragility, and they just kill them as yeah, fast as they can. It's a long, hard road to get those guys into good players. Most of them never make it. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm Glorious. victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. S44 vs Crucifier GG. Thank you very much, Umblum. Staying fantastic for one who will be your pregnancy. Was that was that the uh, was that the high elves? Was it was that season forty four? That was that was a great game, wasn't it? That was a great game. I mean, not, yeah, to, not, to toot my own horn. <laughs> not to toot my own horn, but it was a great <laughs> it was a great game and a perfect one turn defense. <laughs> But um, there you go. Well, uh, commiserations, Magikarp Red. Congratulations to Martin Septim. Amazing, amazing performance. The stadium is yep. All the players are Jimmy Fantastic. Surely he has to win the challenge. What an absolute legend. 
Thank you, Squirrel Dude, for joining me in the booth. If anyone can win it with a team that is so badly angered by horrible naming schema, it's Martin Septon. There you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.